Hey everyone, the Game Piece here, and today I want to give you a guide on where to find a wild 2Y and also how to evolve the 2Y you got from the beginning of the game. So let's get into it. So one thing to keep in mind is that you actually can't do this until you clear everything that there is to do on Tukma. You need the rock hopping gear in order to access this area, but once you clear the Tukma story, you're going to be able to do this. So on the far eastern side of the map on Tukma, right to the eastern part of where you crash land, you are going to be able to find a place where you can rock hop and you are going to come across a crystal shrine. Now you have to complete a side quest in order to advance to this shrine and this quest is started all the way on the other side of the map on the western side where you can talk to this girl here and she will give you a quest in order to beat these crystal cultists here and you will have to do that in order to move past this guy and get to the shrine. One thing I do want to note is that you need to fight these crystal cultists with crystal type temtem only they can be dual type but as long as they have crystal type on it you can use them in the fight so once you clear that quest you are going to be able to advance north here and come up to this shrine and in these wild areas here you can actually find wild 2y that have a five percent spawn chance so if you are unsatisfied with the 2y that you got at the beginning of the game or just want multiple 2y to farm for sv purposes or maybe try to get a luma out of it here is the area that you can do that now how do you even evolve your 2i you might ask. Well the big crystal shrine in the background here if you walk right up to that you are able to select any 2i in your party and you can evolve it into turbine which is a wind and crystal type temtem. And you can do this as many times as possible if you have multiple 2i that you want to evolve you have no problem going back here with multiple of them and evolving as many as you want. Now something unique about 2i is the fact that 2i is going to act as e like an Eevee in this game if you're familiar with the Pokemon series. And if you aren't, let me explain. So 2i is going to have multiple shrines that it can go to and evolve like this for different types. So the first one here is the crystal type, but there's going to be more types added down the line. So if you have a 2i that is a Luma or one that has really good SV values and you want to save it for maybe a different evolution down the line, I absolutely recommend that you do that because it's pretty clear that the 2i is going to have multiple evolutions that it has the opportunity to evolve into. But if you are going for a collection of 2Y and its evolutions, like I said, you can capture more 2Y here at a 5% spawn chance. You just have to make sure it spawns, and it does spawn at a pretty low level, so make sure that you're not going to fire off an attack at it and kill it right away. So there you have it, everyone. I hope that this guide ended up helping you out and helped you evolve your 2Y and maybe learn something about the evolutions of 2Y. If you did like the video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more Temtem guides and content and more MMORPG content in the future. Thank you guys so, so much for the overwhelming support lately. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.